The Merkava tank is considered the backbone of the Israeli army. It is designed to protect soldiers inside, but what does the scene look like from inside the tank for the soldiers? Let's take a look at it. All people control the tank. The driver, the gunner, the loader, and the commander. The driver operates the tank using the steering wheel, gas pedal, and brakes, somewhat similar to driving a car. The gunner sits here, controlling the turret and the main 120mm cannon, which is the tank's primary weapon. He can also operate a machine gun for targeting infantry. The commander, located nearby, can also control the turret and cannon, taking over if needed, and uses sensors and cameras to monitor the surroundings of the tank. If the crew wears a specialized helmet, they can view the surroundings by turning their heads. The loader manages the ammunition, selecting the type needed, and loading the cannon using electric buttons. The tank can accommodate up to 48 shells. It carries ammunition from a separate internal storage, which holds 10 shells to reduce the risk of explosion if the main storage is hit. In the back, the tank can serve as a troop carrier for up to six people. Additional weapons include machine guns for targeting infantry, light vehicles, mortar shells loaded internally, and smoke bombs for camouflage during an attack. The tank's defense includes the trophy system, which intercepts incoming projectiles without crew intervention. Artificial intelligence assists in tank operations and communication with other units in the field. The armor is designed to offer high protection for the crew, with the engine positioned at the front for additional shielding. Manufacturing the Merkava tank is costly, exceeding millions of dollars. But like all tanks, it has vulnerable areas that simpler weapons can exploit. Let's look at the Merkava's armor. Its defense has two components, active and passive. Active defense includes the trophy system, which detects incoming projectiles and fires interceptors to destroy them before they reach the armor. Passive defense is provided by the tank's armor, which has multiple layers, including reactive armor that obstructs or deflects projectiles. Let's also consider the Al Yassin 105 missile, designed with tandem warheads. The first warhead penetrates the outer armor, while the second penetrates the main armor to achieve a hit. To breach the Merkava's defenses, the missile must bypass three layers. First, it needs to avoid the trophy system by being fired at close range. Then, it must penetrate the reactive armor, typically handled by an armor-piercing warhead. Finally, the main warhead aims to penetrate the primary armor, causing damage. However, the Merkava is heavily fortified, with thicker armor that traditional shoulder-fired missiles struggle to penetrate. But no tank has uniformly strong armor across its entire structure. There are stronger and weaker spots. If the Al Yassin 105 missile can target a weaker area, it may achieve the necessary penetration to cause significant damage or destruction. This video provided a focused overview of the key features of the Merkava. For a deeper dive, we highly recommend watching the next section, where we'll explore the Merkava in more detail. We'll cover the vision behind its creation, design elements, manufacturing process, future developments, and an in-depth look at its vulnerabilities. Merkava isn't just any armored vehicle, it's a powerhouse designed from the ground up to survive and protect those inside. Let's explore how it was created, what makes it special, and how it's used in the field. The vision for the Merkava. To understand the Merkava, we need to go back to the 1970s. Israel was facing tough military challenges, surrounded by countries with powerful armies. The Israeli military knew they needed a tank that could handle what it saw as threats around all, one that put crew safety above all else. The man who took on this challenge was General Israel Tal. He believed that Israel needed a tank that could take a hit and keep going, one that would keep soldiers as safe as possible, even in the heat of battle. And so, the Merkava project was born, means chariot in Hebrew, which is fitting for a tank that's all about protection and power. Designing the Merkava, a tank like no other. The design of the Merkava is unique. For one, most tanks have their engines in the back, but not the Merkava. Its engine sits right at the front. This might seem strange, but it's very clever. By placing the engine up front, the tank has an extra layer of protection. If an opponent shell hits the front of the tank, the engine can absorb some of that impact, protecting the crew inside. Another standout feature? The Merkava was designed to carry soldiers. In addition to the driver, gunner, and commander, the Merkava has room in the back to hold troops or even evacuate injured soldiers from the battlefield. 
This makes it not only a powerful weapon, but also a lifeline for troops in dangerous situations. The tank's design is modular. What does that mean? Well, think of it like Lego bricks. Each part of the armor can be replaced individually, so if a piece is damaged, it's much easier and faster to fix. This design makes the Merkava adaptable. It can be upgraded and improved with newer technology, without having to change the whole tank. Building a Merkava tank is no easy task. The materials used are specialized to make the tank as tough as possible. The armor, for example, is a combination of materials designed to resist different kinds of attacks. The big rotating part where the main gun sits has been engineered to offer maximum destruction power. Inside factories, highly skilled workers put together each Merkava with precision. They assemble the engine, fit the armor, and install advanced electronics that give the crew a clear view of the battlefield. Over the years, the Merkava has evolved. The first model, called Merkava Mark I, was tough. But as technology advanced, so did the Merkava. Today's model, the Merkava Mark IV, has even stronger armor, more powerful weapons, and advanced electronics. Weapons and defense. The Merkava isn't just a tank, it's a fortress. Its main gun is a powerful 120mm cannon that can take out opponent vehicles from far away. But it's not just about offense. The Merkava also has machine guns for close defense, and even a system to launch smoke grenades to hide it from opponent eyes. One of the most impressive parts of defense is the Trophy Active Protection System. Imagine this. A missile is heading straight for the tank. The Trophy System can detect the missile and destroy it before it even hits. This keeps the tank and its crew safe in situations that would be dangerous for other tanks. The Merkava has proven itself time and again on the battlefield. In the 1982 Lebanon War, the Merkava Mark I showed its worth by providing protection for soldiers. It could handle tough terrain, face off against opponent vehicles, and give its soldiers a strong advantage. As the Merkava evolved, it became a key player in many operations. In battles, the Merkava's ability to protect soldiers and move through urban areas made it incredibly valuable. One of the most impressive things about the Merkava is how it can operate in both open fields and tight city streets. It's strong enough to survive direct hits and flexible enough to deal with close quarters combat. It can even create safe zones for soldiers to hide behind during firefights. The Merkava isn't just about firepower or toughness. It's about keeping people safe. Every part of its design is built around the crew. The front engine, the special armor, the space to carry soldiers. Over the years, the Merkava has saved many soldiers, not just by being a powerful weapon, but by helping soldiers escape dangerous situations. The future of the Merkava. The Merkava Mark IV, the current model, is already a highly advanced tank. But it isn't stopping there. Engineers are working on new technologies to make the Merkava even more powerful. Future models could have even smarter electronics, better defense systems, and perhaps even automated features. Some say that the Merkava might be the last of its kind. The future warfare will rely on drones or robots. But as long as there are soldiers who need protection on the ground, the Merkava will have a role to play. The Merkava tank is a story of innovation, resilience, and protection. From its origins in the 1970s to its modern-day battles, it stands as a unique creation. When you see a Merkava in action, remember that it's not just a machine, it's a fortress on wheels, designed to destroy and serve. It's a testament to the power of creative engineering. The Merkava's vulnerabilities. Despite its impressive design, even the Merkava has weaknesses. No tank is invulnerable, and real-world battles have shown where the Merkava can be challenged. One place where its weaknesses have been exposed is Gaza, where it has faced heavy attacks, close-range combat and intense urban warfare. The Merkava's size and weight, which make it such a strong force in open fields, can also be a disadvantage in tight urban environments. In Gaza, where narrow streets and close quarters fighting are common, maneuvering a large tank like the Merkava becomes difficult. It can be easier for opponents to get close, set up ambushes, and target weak points on the tank. One notable vulnerability that's been exploited is the tank's underbelly. Like many tanks, the Merkava's underside is less armored because it's designed to withstand frontal and side attacks, where most threats come from. In Gaza, however, some groups have used IEDs, or improvised explosive devices, buried in the road.
These powerful explosions target the tank from below, hitting a less protected area and sometimes even piercing the armor. During clashes in Gaza, several Merkava tanks were damaged or even destroyed by such IEDs. These explosions can be devastating, as the force of the blast can reach the crew compartment, causing serious injuries or fatalities. RPGs, rocket-propelled grenades, are another challenge in close quarters. While the Merkava's trophy active protection system is effective, it's not foolproof, especially in dense, chaotic environments where multiple threats can strike from different directions. These incidents show that, even with all its armor and advanced systems, the Merkava isn't untouchable. Every battle teaches new lessons. Engineers continuously work on reinforcing the Merkavas and adding more reactive armor to protect it from close range RPG attacks. Thanks for watching and see you soon for a new topic. Do not forget to hit that subscription button to help us grow. Bye bye.